Lady Yasmin, you've got the belt, you're the champion. You look rather confident tonight and you're facing a very formidable opponent. How do you feel about your match? Honestly, everyone's talking, oh, she might be my toughest opponent yet, blah, blah, blah. She's from the Fiji Islands. She's got this Hawaiian exotic look about her. Well, honey, look at me. I'm exotic myself. I've got that Guyanese blood. I don't care where you've been, Japan, wherever, battle arts, I don't care. I'm torture chamber, I practice, I train just as hard as you, and I'm not scared. Great North Wrestling is always bringing you the best. We look forward to this match. Great North Wrestling is always bringing you the best here, and tonight we have an international star, Elani Eolana. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You're doing great, and you're going to be challenging Lady Yasmin for her belt, yes? Yeah. How are you feeling tonight? Oh, fired up. Fired up. Super fired up. I. I really think I'm going to win it. Yeah. I think so too. You know, your coach is Yuki Ishia Ishikawa, well-known international mm -hmm. grappling sensation in catch wrestling. I can't wait to see this match. I think Great North Wrestling appreciate your style of combat, and I believe you'll be able to submit your opponent because uh, I think you're, you're better than her, quite frankly. Oh. Well, no offense, Lady Yasmin. You're right. You're right. I am. I'm way better than her. You're and Fijian. I'm Fijian. Polynesian. You've got the element of the wild Polynesian. You've got the element of the submission master Yuki Ishikawa. I, I think you've got the full package right here and quite frankly, a champion. Credibility here at Great North Wrestling. She's gonna bring it. She's gonna be the new woman's champion. Yeah, couldn't say it better. We got a Fijian here in Napanee, Ontario. Yes, that's right. Elani Eolana is facing the current women's champion of Canada. That's the GNW women champion of Canada. That lady right there, Lady Yasmin. My name is Garmami. I'm joined by Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob, how you doing? I'm excited for this one, Garmami. A GNW women's championship of Canada match is always a sight to behold. And these two warriors, gladiators of the ring, are facing off. It's Lady Yasmin's second defense of her championship, and you know she doesn't want to lose it here. Look who we have outside right now, your favorite. The mastermind, the sinister advisor, one of the smartest people right now in Napanee, Mr. Dark Cash, always advising the real champions, if you know what I mean. I'm sure he wants that belt to come back with him and his uh, new uh, signee, I guess, Elani Iolana. She's a world traveler. She's fought in the States. She's fought in the UK, Japan. She's from the Fiji Islands, you know. She's gonna use her experience in the world travel, the just medal here to win the championship tonight. She's fierce, she's intense, she's a competitor. She believes in herself. This woman is confident, and tonight I'm telling you, she's gonna rip Yasmin's heart right out here in Napanee, Ontario. There's some fighting words, you know, her disdain for the fans here. She's here just to win championships. Nice Lady Yasmin coming and using her grappling skills. Both these opponents are so evenly matched. You know what? Last time with Miss Alexia, she had more of a brawler on her hands, but these two can go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the grappling. Trading arm ringers right now, side headlock. You're going to watch this. A lot of submissions probably coming up tonight. A lot of technical wrestling. Both these opponents can fight and will fight their hearts out for the GNW Women's Championship of Canada. The winner of this match will go on to face third generation star Tessa Blanchard. Wow. Who, will res who wrestled for WWE NXT and uh, was recently a competitor in the WWE May Young Classic Tournament, of course. The match will take place on November 5th. This is a matinee show. The show starts at 1 p.m. in Rockland, Ontario. Make sure you visit greatnorthwrestling.ca for more information. Don't you dare miss it. I was floored by that announcement, just like uh, Elani was floored by that clothesline of Tessa Blanchard being signed to GNW, where some of the biggest stars come to compete. Tessa Blanchard, of course, that third generation. Her father, the very well-known uh, Tully Blanchard, part of the Four Horsemen. But she's not just here to exist on her father's reputation. She's fought some of the toughest top women in the world. Speaking of tough, look at this Elani Iolani. 
She's ruthless. She's mean. She wants to win. That's what a champion is, Dr. Bob. Look at and, and the current champion there, Lady Yasmin, Miss Goody Two Shoes. I'm not I'm not taking anything away from her. She's a great talent. She's got a lot of heart, but she doesn't have that ruthlessness. She does, she's not that conniving, you know, evil bulldog. She just doesn't have it, Dr. Bob. And she doesn't have dark cash either. Well, what she does have is a pinfall attempt right now, almost a three count. I have to hear you complain for a few hours on the drive up from Ottawa, so no Garmami. Uh, hopefully Lady Yasmin can pull this one out so I can hear you stop complaining. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, you know what? Lady Yasmin tonight, she is facing the toughest competitor she's ever had. A hyper-confident alpha female who can grapple and can go with the best of them. And she's got that international experience. Well said, Garmami. You know, even the champion has mentioned, I don't know if she's a little bit intimidated, but has mentioned that this will be the biggest fight of her career. A year and a half ago, she started with GNW. It's been impressive in every single outing. But Milani could very well become the next champion here in GNW. Look at the brilliant dark cash here, reminding the referee to do his job right. I don't know what ref Jamie Hitchman's doing here right now. I, he should be pushing dark cash down. No, no, he's getting regulated by dark cash because dark cash knows what needs to be done and when it needs to be executed. The man is brilliant. Have you ever spoken to him? I try to avoid that at all costs. Thanks. And on he back, almost in the ring. Drapes her down across the top. Cut her throat on the rope. Goes for a pin. A little bit of a shortcut, but does not get the win right now. Her shrieks and yells. I mean, you, you can, they resonate in this arena here. All the fans are scared of Elani Ilana. She's from the Fiji Islands. For people who don't know, that's in the Pacific Ocean. It's between Vanuatu and the island of Tonga, of course, where many great Polynesian wrestlers have come from. She wants to continue with that long lineage of very impressive Islanders. A cap, a feather in the cap it would be for her to win the championship here tonight. Pulling her opponent back into the middle ring. Doesn't want to leave anything up to chance. Doesn't want her to grab those ropes. Lady Asmin looks like a victim to her. She looks like a victim. She looks like a loser. You know, she, she's looking for an exit strategy. This is way too early in the match to call that, girl, mommy. No, no, I'm telling you. I mean, she, we know she's going to lose because she doesn't have the fire that the Fijian one brings. Snap mare down. Showboating. You'll like it. Seated You'll like it, Dr. Bob. To the upper shoulders. We all love it. Great North Wrestling always bringing you the best, the best talent, the best enthusiasm look at this that's competitive fire right there that's the desire one needs to have i Maybe. don't know how you could say that Maybe the desire to win did you see her match up a four-way ladder match where she was crowned the women's champion of canada well She's i was bringing there. that same fire here tonight yeah well uh, you know she had problems bringing that belt down that was the universe telling her something wasn't it she got lucky that night she should be buying lotto tickets you got lucky lady osmond we know it we all everybody knows it Hopefully she can't hear you from there. I hope not. Headlock right now. Fans willing. Lady Yasmin to her feet. The crowd favorite. Smartly gaining a bit of leverage. Putting her down to the floor. Like I said before. The ring technician. That both of these uh, ladies are. You're going to see a lot of submissions. You're going to see a lot of grappling. This woman's sensei is Yuki Ishikawa, one of the most legit catch wrestling coaches out there internationally. She's got some solid grappling foundation tonight. And I know that Lady asmin has got some grappling, but tonight, guess what, honey? You're going to get choked out. You might even get your arm dislocated or heel hooked right here in Napanee. Deal with it. Well, she's got those intangibles. Being a champion, you want to keep her title. You know, all the experience and all the training in the world, you've got to back it up and you've got to show it in the ring. So on top of Tessa Blanchard in Rockland, there are more 
uh, women going to be on the card with a mixed gender tag match. Michael Von Payton, MVP, and his wife Misty Haven will be taking on Vanessa Craven and the dastardly and always evil Uno. What a huge matchup with those four competitors. It'll be Misty Haven's big return to the ring. We haven't seen her in a few years, and I'm looking forward to that one. It's exciting. It's the last show of the year. Fans from all across the country are going to be coming down to Rockland, Ontario to catch it live. And our fans here, oh, she's dancing again. Our fans here uh, on U the YouTube channel, Hannibal TV, will definitely be looking forward to seeing this match online. Make sure you like the Hannibal TV on YouTube and follow Great North Wrestling on Facebook. Look at this taunting. She can taunt. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's got it all. What do you want, Dr. Bob? Took too much time. The champion escapes from the corner. Lady Yasmin taunting what? a bit on her own. I mean, she got it, she's got it play. going on too, I must say. She's got it going on. Big buddy drop. Pat in the corner. Kick into the corner right now. And you know what? Lady Yasmin's feeling it. Defeat? Impending defeat? Well, I think Atlanta's feeling defeat right now. No pun intended, Dr. Bob. Neck breaker by uh, Lady Yasmin. Her hips don't lie. She's very, very talented. But tonight, I'm telling you, she, she's in deep water with a Fijian. You know, there's no such word as weakness. This could be it. In the Fijian language. Did you know that, Dr. Bob? I, I fact checked. I did not it. know that. Thank you. I'll there's no such thing as weakness. Well, no weakness is being shown right now. And that was almost a three count. She really knocked her for a loop there. Holding on to her head. There's 3,522 words for the word weakness in Guyanese. Did you know that? I, I, I don't imagine you're not making that up right now. I but am, I will course. not fact check this right now. It's going for a fireman's carry. Maybe a Death Valley driver. Escapes. Snaps her down. Into a crossface. She's hooked her arm. Making it hard for her opponent to move anywhere. Rings of Saturn. Look at it right across her face, making it hard to move, making it hard to breathe, and she she escaped. bit her. She bit, she bit her. Brilliant Fiji style. Definitely illegal. Hashtag Fiji. Drop to a hold. Muda lock, perhaps. That excellent bridge. We talked about the submission skills of both these competitors, and it is on show right now. What a match. It could go either way. So evenly matched, these two. Just give up, Lady Yasmin. Give up. Dark Cash pulling the ropes back. Definitely legal as well. The referee's got to open his eyes. Pull Dark Cash. Yes. What, a what a cowardly way to break, it out, break out of that submission move. Shame on you, Lady Asma. Much worse, I'm sure, than biting your opponent's fingers. Well, no, that, that's brilliant. Biting, that's very animalistic. That's a very pure, visceral way to show the enemy that you're in it to win it, Dr. Bob. You are a poet. And a liar, but a poet. Working on her leg now. Oh, no, just pulling her to the outside. The submission moves and in a ring prowess of both opponents has turned into an outside brawl. Just give up, Lady Yasmin. You're not a champion. Ilani Iolana is the real deal. I don't know what she's looking for right now. Can't imagine anything legal. She's looking for uh, Lady Yasmin's soul right now because her soul just got crushed right under the ring. She ain't got nothing. Lady Yasmin got nothing in tonight. Look at this. She's this will be a disqualification. The referee catches it. Dark Cash doing his, uh, his dirty work outside. How are you going to call that dirty? It's brilliant. That's what a manager should do. This man is the leading manager in all of professional wrestling, in my humble opinion. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Typical Lady Yasmin. Lady Yasmin's got to get out of this. She's got a victim syndrome, this Lady Yasmin. Just get up, with Lady. a chair. The crowd with bated breath. Oh! <laughs> Great North Wrestling. This is not what Great North Wrestling is all about. 
It's about action. How about, is she going to get up? It's about action. It's about intensity. It's about who wants to be a winner. And that lady right there, all the way from the Fiji, knows she's a winner. Look at her. She's confident. She's tough. Look at this victim here. Look I at this victim. I am so disappointed. Well, someone hand her a box of Kleenexes. We know she's crying. Okay, yeah. Keep crying. Keep crying. This you ain't a champ. Okay, get over it. Champion Lady Yasmin is giving her all when you go for underhanded tactics like that. It's not underhanded, Dr. Bob. It's brilliant. It's the use of the ring. It's situational awareness. It's a win-win. She's being managed by one of the greatest minds in professional wrestling. Dark Cash, the sinister one. And look at this. Lady Yasmin. Look at this. She's tying. Oh, she's giving her. This she's getting disgusting. her hair done. She's this getting her hair disgusting. done. What do you mean disgusting? Clearly, Lady Yasmin needs a new hairdo. Alani Alana is doing her a favor. You know, she's tying her hair because Lady Yasmin needs a new hair. This is for the GNW Women's Championship of Canada. It can't end like this. Well, it can. It's a humiliating way to show that Lady Yasmin is not championship material, Dr. Bob. She Asking got lucky. the ref to call it here to count. If it gets to a 10 count, she will be counted out, and the winner will be Elani. You ain't got it, Lady Yasmin. You don't have the heart to get out of it. That woman right there, the Fijian woman, the Polynesian princess, knows what's up, and tonight she's going to be the new champ. I'm sick to my stomach. Dark Cash acting like nothing's wrong. Everything's excellent for Dark Cash. I mean, Dark Cash is a brilliant man. Uh, how many times do I need to remind you? Everyone here now knows it. Disgusting end to this matchup, which was up until then a back and forth encounter. I was just in awe of all the technical prowess and the submission moves that I saw this match, but it's got to end like that. On a cheap count out. The champ is here, Elani Iolana. Germami championships do not change hands on account of, but she has a good, good reason for a rematch right now, having the win over her opponent by dubious tactics, of course. You know, I don't appreciate you your condescending, dubious tactics. How, how are you going to put down this woman and all the effort she put in to beat that loser there, Lady Asmi? Garmami, I'm sure you're just a little insulted by the lack of hair, but you know what? Well, that I was am. Not, As a matter of fact, I am. That was not a fair call at all. We know she's the champ. I mean, she, she brought it tonight here in Napanee. She deserves the belt. Okay, this, this, isn't a, this, is, this ain't right. The this belt right. does not change hands. What a matchup it was. Good day, Great North Wrestling fans. I'm Michael Andrews, president of Great North Wrestling. This statement is in regards to Tessa Blanchard's opponent for the November 5th afternoon of Champions card in Rockland, Ontario. I have made the following ruling after consulting with Commissioner Maloney and the Great North Wrestling Championship Committee. Tessa Blanchard was guaranteed a title shot at the Great North Wrestling Women's Championship of Canada and was scheduled to face the winner of the Lady Asmin Elani Yolana match in Napanee last month. However, Due to Elani Yolana having scored a countout victory over the champion, she will participate in the championship as well as the new number one contender. Therefore, it will be a three-way triangle match for the title on November 5th at the Jean-Marc Lalonde Arena in Rockland. We feel that this is the fairest outcome for all athletes in the spirit of competition.